Hey guys, it's Ray, and today is iOS 8 day, which means you can update your iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPad Air, iPad mini, iPad mini, Retina, uh, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and yeah, that's it, to, oh, iPod Touch, uh, to iOS 8.0. Uh, that's the newest version of Apple's mobile operating system. So I'm going to do things a little bit differently today, mainly because um, if you update over Wi-Fi, which I normally do, you are going to need a lot of storage. Oops. You're going to need a lot of storage. So you can see that it says you're going to need 4.6 gigabytes of storage, which I don't have. Um, even though the update is 957, it needs that much amount of storage. So I've connected my uh, iPhone 5 to um, iTunes on my MacBook Air and then loaded up iTunes, okay? So you can see over here it says my version of my iPhone is iOS 7.1.2. And I've already done a backup, so if you don't, you haven't done so, do a backup to your Mac or a backup to your iCloud. And then we're just going to hit update over here. Um, so I'm just going to go over here and click update because I've already done my backup. And it says that updating to iOS requires at least 770 megabytes of free space on your phone. Um, and my phone has actually not enough space. It actually only has 438 megabytes. So I'm gonna have to do some cleaning or app uninstallation. And I'm back, I deleted a whole bunch of videos. Now you can see that I've got 2.1 gigabytes free. And if I go over here, I'm just gonna click update. Let's do this. It says it will verify. And I'm gonna hit. Damn iPhone, I'm gonna hit update on this. And it tells me all the crap inside iOS 8. Um, improvements, messages, all this good stuff. I'm not gonna bore you with it. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, a lot of stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and click next. And then we're gonna click agree. And you can see over here, the software update is happening. It's gonna take about eight minutes to download, seven minutes, and then it'll take some time to install. So we'll come back when everything is ready to go and uh, we're ready to install. Download is complete and now iTunes is processing the iPhone software update, extracting the software. Come on, extract. And preparing for the iPhone update. So we look over here on my iPhone. It is already beginning. It has begun. So long iOS 7 and hello world to iOS 8 and all that great stuff that you saw in the screen before. Okay, so my iPhone's been updated and now we are booting up to iOS 8 on the iPhone 5. Still doing something. said on iTunes it was updated, but it appears it's doing something on my iPhone. So we'll wait this one out as well. The loading bar is done and we are booting up 
once again. So let's see this through. Come on. Let's do it. I'm ready for iOS 8, baby. Yes, get started. Woohoo! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Hit about. And voila! Let me show you that. Hit about. Voila. 8.012A365. Everything looks the same, more or less, but... The icons in the notification center have changed a little bit. Some of the outlines are gone. I can't wait to try out certain things like extensibility and widgets and all that shit, but that's how you update to iOS 8 on your iPhone 5. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It'd be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, also check out my new website. It's called Dapper Guide. Link is in the description bar below. And you can also click on the annotation right here to visit it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video.